Yeah, so we don't want to hear that all of a sudden. Now, now that your turn, it's your turn to serve slavery, man. We don't, you know, we don't want to hear that. We don't want to hear that now, man. Now that we on, we on the bottom. Now it's your turn to go down the bottom. We us on top now. Now you want everybody to be equal. When you say equal, we know what you really mean. You mean you still want to be on top and, and, and make us believe that we're equal. But we know the difference now. We know the difference, man. The Most High know, knows the difference. Uh, Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Everybody has ears, man, to hear. You know, and there's even brothers doing it in sign language for the hearing impaired. Uh, it says, uh, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Who led us into captivity? Who? He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Who did that? Please, some, somebody tell me, who did that? Who did this? I don't want to act slow all of a sudden. Shit. You know, I want to act all, all funny and shit. Whatever, man. I ain't got time for this shit. Well, look, you, you got where you shit don't even want to come up, huh? Yeah, you did it, man. You did this. Ain't no mystery in history about what's going on. We know what's going on. And you fucked up and let this internet out. Now we can look at every, all of your doings, man. Everything you did, we can look at what, you, what you've done, what you've been about. You put it in your movies. You, you, it's evident in, 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 in society. This new young dumbass generation, they act like they don't see it because you're trying to take it out of the history books. But, but the people that were still taught it, some of the people that, that, were, that lived it and the children of the people that lived it, they're still alive. And they passed it down because it was still in your history books and in your classes. And some of us are still alive that remember. And it was passed down in stories. My grandmother, who's not here, but, but I'm old enough to where she told me that she actually lived and, and, and worked in a, picking cotton. She actually picked cotton, my grandmother. You know? There's people out there like that still, that still pass them stories down. You know what she told us about it? She said that... um. They're 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 like they're thorny like a rose bush, you know. That you you only, you only know that if if you've actually picked cotton, you know. They're thorny like that. You gotta. She even went in, into detail to say like, you have to kind of pull gather just the the uh, the cotton, the ball of cotton from around off of it. You don't just grab the whole thing because that's when you get pricked. But you just kind of just pull the cotton off of it instead of trying to grab the whole bundle of it. You pull the cotton off of it, and that's what you do. You said there was nice that you go home and you prick so badly, you go home and your, your hands be numb, like you can't feel them. But guess what? You got to get with it tomorrow. Y'all seen 12 Years a Slave? You know? You seen a, a Birth of a Nation? You know how this goes down. Um, so Tyler Baker, we don't want to hear that, man. We don't want to hear that. We all didn't. We all didn't live the same life growing up, man. We didn't. Through through all these hundreds of years, especially the time that you ruled, especially the time that you ruled. But you don't know the scriptures, man. You don't. You act like you don't know history. Like you can't look it up. Like we look it up. Um, go back into this. Um, here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Yeah, us that believe. This is what we. This is what we truly. Uh, have patience and we wait for, man. This is what we fully believe in and wait for. Who are the saints? And, and you know, we we're going in, into that at, at the camp. Who are the saints? The saints are the Israelites. The the chosen of the Israelites in particular, but but generally the the Israelites. Let's go back into the scriptures. I actually did have. Go right here to Deuteronomy the seventh chapter. Particularly six verses. You say there's no such thing as racist. We're all the same people. No. It goes through your father, man. You know? And I'm sure there's a plethora of videos talking about the seed. How 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 man gives the seed. Just like the farmer plants the seed, and it don't matter what earth you put it in. Now, if the earth will always accept the seed, but will it always blossom bloom or blossom the seed is the difference. You know? But the seed, if, if I plant, if I plant it in, in rich soil, 
uh, uh, apple seed in rich soil, an apple will grow. If I put it in 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 depleted soil, you know that's been that's been stripped of all its nutrients, it might not grow. But if it did grow, it would grow as an apple tree. You know. Anyway, so um, Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six it says, "For thou art an holy people." You look up the word holy. We went in at camp, man. We left you no avenue at camp, man. This past Sunday, we left you no avenue to get around none of this, man. Holy means separate, man. A separate people unto the Lord thy power, Yahweh. Yeah, that's why he chose. Look, it says, "The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself." above above not equal to not mingled in not beneath above all people that are upon the face of the earth so we're above all you other nations of people pursuant to uh, psalms 83 that list of nations we're above all you other nations man because the most high god the creator did that matter of fact i just scripture just jumping at me through the spirit so i'm gonna I'm pull a few of them Try to keep it as concise, but this has already gone beyond what I had uh had in had intentions of. But hey, it's the spirit, man. You, you know, I'm not gonna quench it. Um Yeah, I'm gonna jump straight to um Yeah. Yeah, Romans thirteen uh nine and thirteen it says, As it is written, Jacob have I loved, and Jacob is the forefather of of the Israelites who today are known as the so-called Negroes, so-called Latinos, so-called Native Americans. It says, but Esau have I hated. And Esau is the forefather of you so-called um, white people, man. You know, you so-called fake, uh, uh, you Caucasians, you fake Jews, you Amalekites, you Khazars. That's you guys, man. You know, you guys are from the, from the seed of, uh, of Esau, man. You guys are Hebrew Edomites, and we're Hebrew Israelites. Um, so what shall we say then? Is there unrighteousness with the Most High? <laughs> God forbid. No. I mean, hell no, basically. No, there's not. There's not unrighteousness with him. So, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. And right now he allowed you because we were disobedient, he allowed you to get on high. He fulfilled Isaac's blessing that he gave Esau and gave you dominion on the earth. He allowed you to rule over us by the sword and rule the earth by the sword. You know, and that's what you did with it. When you had that, you had a chance to be righteous in that moment and you didn't. That was your chance to be righteous in that moment, to say, you know what, I'm going to be on top, but I'm going to be on top in righteousness. When I call myself the people of, of God, I'm going to be as the people of God, even though that was wrong. For you to even put that our our, um, our our title upon your your nation of people, because that wasn't you. He didn't choose you, but you still tried to take that and and be and be that. But you you ruled it in in, in wickedness, man, fulfilling the prophecy. Um, let me get to the point. Yeah, verse seventeen. I'll read it anyway. It says, um. For the scripture saith unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, when he when he uh, did that mega event in the earth uh, with the exodus of Egypt, you know, out of Egypt for the Israelites out of Egypt with those those ten plagues, and then and then and then let our people uh, walk up out of Egypt, and then split the Red Sea, and then swallowed up the whole Egyptian army. In that Red Sea, you know, when that when that went down, that was a major thing upon the earth, and then drove us, wandered, let us wander and perform miracles for us in the wilderness, and then put us in our own land after we took down the Canaanites. He did that for us, man. That was a major event in history, in, in world history. For for that he showed unto his particular people, Israel, his chosen people. Let me keep reading on, man. If therefore hath he hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and on whom he will harden it. Yeah, he hardened your hearts to be to to allow you to be wicked, you know. But he chose to have um uh, mercy upon us, and he was hard against you, and he was even hard against us when we were disobedient. Now that we're coming back, you know, it's time to come back, and and every, and all the prophecies are being fulfilled. It's time for us to get back on top, man. There's nothing you can do to stop it, no matter what. 
of venom or, or bullshit you throw out there and spew philosophy, whatever, man. It doesn't change the actuality of what's actually going to happen. What's actually going to happen is still going to be what's going to happen. See, um, see, uh, yeah. Keep reading. 19 said, Thou wilt say unto, unto me, Why dost thou yet find faults? For who has resisted his will? Nay, but O man, who art thou that replies against the Most High? Shall the thing formed say to him that formed it, Why hast thou made me thus? <laughs> yeah. It says, has, has not the potter power over the clay? And of the same lump to make one vessel to honor and another to dishonor. Yeah, and you were just happened to be who he chose to dishonor. And we happen to be the ones that he chose to honor. That's it, man. If you play with G.I. Joe, you can have Cobra win or you can have G.I. Joe win. It's up to you. They suggest that G.I. Joe wins. But but it's up to you. When you have your own action figures, you 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 let He Man beat Skeletor. Or whatever, or whatever that you want to do, because you're the one ruling it. When you play chess with yourself, you let whichever the darks or the lights or whatever you let whoever you want to win. You declare that from the beginning, because you you're gonna be at a stance. You ain't gonna you ain't gonna get nowhere. But you play it out the way you want to play out. You know, and that's the same thing. Most high, he's playing chess by himself, and we're his pawns and chess pieces. Anyway, it says um. Verse 22, which is a major point in this. What if, this is a question, what if the Most High, willing to show his wrath, we see what happens when he shows his wrath. The time of Noah, he flooded the earth and wiped out all the people out the earth, all the wicked spirits out the earth and saved eight people out of it. As far as people upon the earth, he saved eight people out of everybody on the earth in the time of Noah. Then he turned around with, with, uh, and, and let his people come out of uh, Egypt what did he do when he showed his wrath in that? He he did ten plagues upon upon one nation that had us in captivity. And then destroyed their armies. So you tell me what happens when the Most High shows his wrath. Right? Willing to show his wrath and to make his power known. And to make his power known that he is. Right? Endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted for to destruction. So he had a certain people upon the earth that he would show his wrath upon because he created them for that. As it says in uh, Proverbs 16 and 4, he made the wicked for the day of evil, man. You know? He he created the people, the, wick, uh, the wicked for the day of evil. Um, that he might make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had afore prepared unto glory, his chosen people, you know, and even though he punished us, he still brought it back to a to a greater glory that he had it set up that way, the way he wanted to play out. It says, um, yeah, so I'm going to stop right that, right there. I'm going to go into, um, wait, let me go back because I don't want you guys saying no bullshit right there. And it says the Jew and the Greek. I know y'all gonna try to hop on that Jew and the Greek, but at camp we broke that all the way down. We broke that all the way down. It says, even us whom he has called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Man, we went into that. I'm not gonna go into it in this video, but we went into it at camp. When we broke that down, man, that, I was talking about the other Israelites that he had pre-chosen that were in a Gentile state of mind. That had nothing to do with the other nations, man. It had nothing to do with the other nations. Those are those that believed that they were other nations, but they believed what, what the Israelites believed. Because you other nations don't believe what we believe. You accept what we believe or what, or what, what the Bible says, but that don't mean that you're an Israelite just because you accept it. You know, it's not for you to, to accept it, to believe it like that. It's for us. Now, you can believe it if you want. Apparently, Tyler Baker doesn't... Uh, doesn't believe the truth about the Bible. It's because he doesn't know the Bible. This guy right here does not know the Bible, man. Let me finish up the lesson. Back to the points that I want to hit. Yeah, so um, go back to Deuteronomy. No matter of fact, um, let's go here. Before I hit this point in the, in the Apocrypha, let us know where I'm going. 
before I hit that, pursuing back to Deuteronomy, the seventh chapter, right? I just typed in the fastest runners in the world, right? I'm on Google. Quit bullshitting. I typed in fastest runners in the world. And watch who shows up, man. Because when the scripture in Deuteronomy in particular said, above all people upon the face of the earth, look what showed up, man. I hit images just to show you a visual of what Google, which all-knowing Google, and, you know, there's even people praying to Google and all of that out there, but all-knowing Google shows you in images. The fastest people in the world are who? Who are these fast people, man? These are Israelites, man. Usain Bolt, everybody knows he's the fastest man on the planet right now. He's broken all the world records. You telling me he's not the fastest man on the planet? He's not a Jake from the tribe of Benjamin? Whether he know it or not, he's from the tribe of Benjamin. Look, I for, uh, Gat, uh, Gatson, I forgot his name, man. He, he's from the USA. He, he's fast as well, man. Look, even the women, look. Look. Either of my children running, that ain't got nothing to do with nothing. Old ass, I don't know what he is, Moab, and nothing to do with nothing. The fastest people, you know, you know, I know four year olds that could beat that old ass man and that little girl in the same race. Look, look, look who these people are. Look at the images show you. Look at the images show you the fastest people on the planet are. This dude running next to a Jaguar, I know it's superimposed, but still, that's what it's like. No. So then I went to um, the highest jumpers in the world. Yeah, let's see if we can get yeah highest jumpers in the world. Look at the images that Google shows you. Look, Jake. Look at Jake. Look at Jake, man. Jake head up by the rim. Jake, Jake up there touching the top of the backboard. Look, look where Jake at, man. That's above the backboard right there. The, the rim ain't even over there. Look, he's looking. Look how much higher his his chest is at the rim. Look at this. Jake literally kissing the rim. Literally kissing the rim. Putting his chin on the rim. Look at this. Look what Jake do, man. We're not physically superior. We are physically super. Look at this. If you jumping out of a plane. That ain't got shit to do with nothing. This dude jumped off the ground and propelled himself that high above the ground. Look at this. Well, what the hell this little roach looking shit got to do anything. But look, for real. Look at that though. Look at the shit Jake do, man. You got Jake compared to animals. They got you jumping off of shit. They got Jake compared to animals. The way the way they, they their athleticism is. Is, is, is beast-like. And it's only because you you have such a lack of it that that you that that you that you envy it so much, man. Because your people don't aren't able to do that. I guarantee you that was off a trampoline. This guy down here. Look, and that's just a quick. And, I, and this this isn't meant to be a uh, a, a bash uh, uh, white people uh, thing. That's not what this was about. That's not what this whole thing was about. This thing was about. To show you that, that we are and we were created to be above all people upon the face of the earth, as the Most High have said. I'm going to go into um, Second Edges, and, 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 and Tyler Baker tried to go into this, but he didn't go into this part. He said he, he created nations. He went right into uh, the book of Acts, not understanding what, that, what that's about, man. With all that getting, get understanding, man. And you don't have it. It's because you don't want to. When you accept the truth, man, the truth is the truth, man. The truth stands alone. When you accept the truth, there's a difference in, in you. The truth, you, you can't change the truth and make it into nothing else. The truth is just the truth. 